So I think it's got a great mix of uh, experiencing new kind of people, new culture. Uh, you know, Maori culture in itself is so so unique there. Uh, I got to experience uh, and and perform with the warriors there. I think their uh, haka is a, is a very very intense. आपने एक कपूर एंड संस में हमें बताया था कि आपको ट्रैकिंग का बहुत शौक रहा है और कॉलेज डेज से ही आपने काफी इंडिया घूमा है तो इंडिया और न्यूजीलैंड वहां पर आपको क्या डिफरेंस लगा वहां का जो इंटीरियर है वहां के जो लोग हैं वो किस तरह के हैं और इंडिया का जो जहाँ जहाँ आप घूमे हैं वहाँ वो उनमें क्या डिफरेंस है आई थिंक बहुत काफी डिफरेंस है और काफी सिमिलैरिटीज भी है मेरे को जब पहली बार उन लोगों ने क्योरा बोला तो मुझे लगा पंजाबी में बात कर रहे हैं कि की हो रहा है भाई तो पहले मुझे लगा कि ये लोग इनको भी पंजाबी आती है पर दैट इज नॉट इट वॉज इट वॉज देयर लोकल लैंग्वेज सो आई थिंक सिमिलैरिटीज और डिफरेंसेस तो हर शहर में होते हैं यहाँ पे मुझे जो पहला देखा आई थिंक लाइफ काफ़ी अलग है uh, यहाँ पे कल्चर है टू गो आउट मच मोर टू एक्सपीरियंस दी आउटडोर्स बिकॉज दे ऑल्सो कैन एन फेसिलिटीज है यू नो इट्स नॉट सो स्ट्रेसफुल जो इंडिया में हो हमारे जो लाइफ स्टाइल है विच इज अ ग्रेट थिंग टू लर्न एंड यू नो पीपल एंड ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑल्सो आई देर पीपल आर फार्म ऑफ क्वालिफाइड एंड एंड यू नो आई वुड से इन दर सेफ्टी मेजर्स आर टॉप नॉच विच इज अगेन डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इंडिया आई हैव डन सम काइंड ऑफ एडवेंचर स्पोर्ट्स लाइक इफ आई हैव गॉन ड्राफ्टिंग इंडिया में तो वहाँ के जो ट्रेनर्स हैं आई थिंक उनकी क्वालिफिकेशन में और जो इनके ट्रेनर्स हैं इनकी क्वालिफिकेशन में बहुत फ़र्क है आई थिंक खाना अगर देखा जाए जो सारे इनके प्रोड्यूस है आर मोस्टली फ्रेश आई थिंक दे हैव द बेस्ट वेजिटेबल्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड द बेस्ट मीट यू कुड गेट यू नो इट्स ऑल कैटल ऑल द कैटल इज ग्रास फैड ऑल द ऑल द वेजिटेबल्स आर एक्सट्रीमली फ्रेश यू नो फूड डजेंट गेट स्टोर्ड इन इन यू नो एनी काइंड ऑफ रिफ्रिजरेटर बिफोर इट कम्स टू यू सो आई एम अ बिग फूडी एंड आई एन्जॉय डेट अ लॉट एंड इफ यू मिस होम आई ऑल्सो फाउंड सो मेनी इंडियंस दैट आर वेरी वेरी स्वीट एंड वॉम हु परफॉर्मिंग ऑन माई सॉन्ग्स एंड आई इवन आर इंडियन फूड uh there so i think it's got a great mix of uh, experiencing new kind of people new culture uh, you know maori culture in itself is so so unique there uh, i got to experience uh, and and perform with the warriors there i think their uh, haka is a, is a very very intense and uh, very thrilling experience to stand there and perform with them you know it makes you feel very very proud and aggr- and and passive aggressive not in a bad way i think it pumps you up in a very very good way for any activity that you're doing which is uh, Uh, which I also used to follow during the All Blacks, uh, and I think that's also the reason that these guys, these guys keep winning because they do the haka every time before, and it's a great edge over the over the opponent. Uh, so yeah, I think it, there's a loads of difference, uh, but yet I think there are loads of similarities as well in terms of uh, you know they also believe in welcoming their guest. हमारे यहाँ पे भी same चीज़ है. Our culture is to welcome our guests uh, um, and you know be extremely warm and welcoming to them. Uh, yeah, so I think. Uh, Uh, it's got an interesting mix of being different and yet being similar yeah uh, steven my question to you uh, are you planning to uh, give some kind of discount for indian tourist to visit uh, new zealand <laughs> really good question <laughs> and <laughs> a relevant question and it's, all and it's one that i can't answer no look my role uh, our role as a national tourism organization is to market new zealand to the world Uh, we're not at the the point of conversion in terms of actually selling uh, New Zealand, uh, especially at a, at a discounted rate. And look, New Zealand is a destination that's an aspirational destination. We know that not everybody. We would love everybody to get there, but not everybody can get to New Zealand. But if you are lucky enough to to enjoy New Zealand and get to New Zealand, um, it's a it's a trip that you'll never forget. You should, and see, in India, we love ek ki par ek free. If you want to follow that, you know. Should I Option. follow that? <laughs> एक के साथ एक फ्री इज अ थिंग मतलब एक वी हैव बड़ा पैकेट ऑफ सोप स्मॉल पैकेट फ्री सो वन एडल्ट यू कैन सेंड द किड फॉर फ्री ओके लेट लेट मी वर्क ऑन दैट वन आई वर्क ऑन दैट वन फॉर दैट कुड बी आई कैंपेन नेक्स्ट ईयर एग्जैक्टली या एक के साथ एक फ्री या वी माइट फोकस ऑन यूजिंग सिडार्ट दिस टाइम अराउंड एंड देन वी यूज सोप इट्स ऑल अ वर्जन और सिंस Uh, so that has been uh, there since two years. The marketing campaign is going on very well in India, but uh, we all know that Sadat also has followers in New Zealand as well. So back there home, how has been the response, especially from the New Zealand uh, people? I'm sorry, can you repeat the last part? I just couldn't. How how, how popular has the campaign been among the Kiwis as well, uh, and also the Indians living in New Zealand as well? So how, how since he has quite a followers in New Zealand as well. 
sorry. Uh, can I just declare? Oh, the campaign. So yeah. So the second year. So the campaign is designed to encourage uh, Indians uh, to visit New Zealand on holiday. Um, so that's our sole purpose. However, there is over 180,000 Indians living in New Zealand uh, who I know have been watching what we do in market in India with Sadat uh, very closely. So whilst it's designed to attract Indians coming to New Zealand, the Indians that are in New Zealand are really, really excited and feel naturally proud about having Sadat as their uh, New Zealand slash Indian um, brand ambassador. And also, since Siddharth is also interested in a lot of adventure activities and all, so are you planning to also uh, really focus on the attractions to promote adventure activities in New Zealand, since this is also a growing segment in India? Uh, you, and you can also describe your experience uh, with the adventure activities, the biking as well. Uh, he wants to know about the adventure sports there and how you're promoting, uh, mm -hmm. are you planning to promote more act activities in India, you're asking him? Yeah, what uh, New Zealand is promoting the adventure activities from New Zealand. Look, what I, so we, um, obviously the, the types of activities that Siddharth enjoyed when he went down to New Zealand will form part of the campaign that we launch uh, digitally here in market. Um, but also a lot of what we do here digitally is obviously to drive people to our website, which one is the mo one of the most visited destination websites in the world, which is NewZealand.com. And on that website you'll see a hub of whether it's food, um, culture, uh, Māori culture, but also adventure activities. And we know that uh, the Indian traveller, when they come to New Zealand, uh, want to do as much as they possibly can. Um, and whether that's adventure or culture, they will certainly uh, try and uh, achieve and do, and do as much as they possibly can. And the good thing about New Zealand is that you can do that. You can pack a whole lot in, in a really short space of time. Yeah, I think that's one, one quality, uh, you know, definitely for all the adventure junkies in the world. I think they all know New Zealand. They all have been there, experienced one activity or the, or the other. And, uh, and I have gone there and experienced myself and realized why. Uh, because A, it's extremely scenic to do any activity outdoors uh, because of the kind of, uh, you know, landscape they have, the kind of climate they have. And secondly, it's so safe. Uh, for example, it's the birthplace of bungee jumping. You know, they, they've, 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 the, like the world took over afterwards when they created bungee jumping. Or even when you say Zorbing, which is again a sport which is, uh, which is born in uh, New Zealand. Yes. So I think for adventure sports or any adventure junkies, people and youngsters looking to experience the outdoors and have a little thrill, uh, New Zealand is, is I, I, I think I don't even have to say it, it is a def it's a place that they have to have to go because it is uh, known around the world for its adventure sports and uh, I was lucky enough to go and experience all of them and have fun with it. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy and glad that they're promoting it still and I hope uh, they come up with some new cool sports. Mm, me too. Fantastic. We'll just have one last it's question. Uh, hi, yes. hi, this, this is will Ravi be Kumar. our last question. Thank hi, you. Hi, this is Ravi Kumar uh, from New Zealand Plan. My question is to Siddharth. Siddharth, you said that traveling is very important. A common person can normally travel, but for celebrities, ke liye, काफी मुश्किल हो जाता है ट्रैवलिंग करना क्योंकि उनकी फैन फॉलोइंग होती है हर जगह तो मैं आपसे पूछना चाहूंगा कितना डिफिकल्ट होता है एक सेलिब्रिटी के लिए ट्रैवल करना बिकॉज़ यस्टरडे देयर वाज एन इंसिडेंट व्हेन एसआरके वाज ट्रैवलिंग बाय ट्रेन तो बहुत ज्यादा रिस्की हो गया था पूरा जर्नी तो क्या कहेंगे आप इस पर आई थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज अ चाहे सेलिब्रिटी हो या डिपेंड करता है कहां ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं अगर आप अपनी कंट्री में ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं जहां पे लोग आपको जानते हैं शक्ल से पहचानते हैं आपकी पिक्चरे पसंद करते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली आप उतना खुल के आप एक्टिविटीज या चीजें एक्सपीरियंस नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज़ ट्रैवलिंग में जैसा कि स्पेशली जब मैं ट्रैवल करता हूं आई लाइक टू ऑब्जर्व बट अगर आप लोग आपको पहचानते हैं यू बिकम ऑब्जर्व द ऑब्जर्वड सो यू कांट ऑब्जर्व एनी मोर लोग आपको देख रहे हैं आप उनको नहीं देख पाएंगे आप नॉर्मल चीजें नहीं कर पाएंगे तो आई थिंक अगर आप इसी कंट्री में तो थोड़ा वो एक्सपीरियंस नहीं मिलता है तभी आप मैं न्यूजीलैंड चले जाता हूं जहां पे कंपैरेटिवली कम लोग हैं और आसान हो जाता है और जहाँ तक कि जो इंसिडेंट की बात है इट्स वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट एंड जो हुआ है जो बट आई थिंक यू नो आई एम डोंट नो द एग्जैक्ट डिटेल्स ऑफ इट बट इसकी इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हम बाहर निकलना बंद कर दें इट वॉज एन एक्टिविटी विच यू नो देवर प्रोमोटिंग दर फिल्म एंड इट्स अ वेरी अनफॉर्चुनेट थिंग दैर हैपन देर एंड दैट्स इट इट्स जस्ट वेरी वेरी सैड टू नो यार यू नो सम दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सीडेंट इज हैपन Last question, do we last have question. time for one more question? Or we yeah. don't have time for one we, more question. So that one question, it's fine. We can manage yeah. one question. It'll take few seconds, I, I believe. 
So that, uh, you know, uh, the incident that happened, you know, do you feel the precautionary measures were not taken and, you know, as a fraternity, you know, you feel that you should do such activities, you know, when people go while... Sorry, what has happened? What? Uh, the, act, the incident that ha has happened yesterday at Vadodra. Do you feel that, uh, you know, the actors should just announce when they are doing such activities on Twitter and because people came there and, you know, a lot of people got hurt and one person died as well. So do you feel that you should be doing such activities in future as well? Do I feel we should not be doing such activities? Sorry? Well, I, I, A, first of all, I didn't do it. So I don't know whether I should or I should not. So uh, I think all of us uh, are planning to promote our films and it's a good intention to uh, promote and get awareness about our movies. Uh, marketing mein hum log, uh, kab se karte hai. It's not the first time everybody is doing any marketing trip or uh, you know going out and promoting their film. So I think it's a norm but uh, definitely what has happened is unfortunate and uh, nobody has planned for it. It's, it's, a, it's something that should not happen. I was not there to uh, experience and what has happened. I don't know ki kya exactly hua hai. I've also read it just what uh, just aapne padha hai. So I think, yeah, there's nothing more to say. It's definitely, definitely something which is very, very sad and should never happen. And we, and the authorities or whoever it is, or uh, as I said, I'll, I'll be wrong in commenting on it because I don't know exact details, but uh, it's very unfortunate and I'm sure nobody's intent intentionally done something wrong. Uh, it's an accident which can happen anywhere.